Hi friends! I'm back to read you another story today. I hope everybody is staying safe and healthy. I still miss you very much and I'm always thinking about you. The story I'm going to read today has a moral. The moral is the lesson or what you learn from the book. The lesson of the story um, about the bunny is it is important to be yourself and we all have wonderful differences about ourselves. Some things are the same and some things are different. We've talked about this before in our classroom, but this book is very special because it's about a bunny. And um, I think it goes along with uh, this week. So I hope you enjoy it. The story is called, It's Not Easy Being a Bunny by Marilyn Sadler and illustrated by Roger Bolin. If you look at the front page of the book, how is the bunny feeling? PJ Funny Bunny was very sad. He did not like being a bunny. His mother made him eat cooked carrots every day. He had far too many brothers and sisters and his ears were very big. One day, PJ decided to leave home. I don't want to be a bunny anymore, said PJ. I want to be a... What do you think he wants to be? A bear. And PJ went to live with the bears. But when the bears went to sleep for the winter, PJ could not sleep at all. Living with the bears was not very exciting. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear. I want to be a... Bird. And PJ went to live with the birds. PJ liked being a bird until he tried to fly. Whoops. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird. I want to be a beaver. And PJ went to live with the beavers. See how all the animals are accepting PJ into their group? Even though he looks different, they're all being kind and caring to him. The beavers like to work very hard. PJ did not like to work at all. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver. I want to be a pig and PJ went to live with the pigs. (laughs) 
But the only thing the pigs liked to do was sit in the mud. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig. I want to be Can you think of what he might like to be next? Moose. And PJ went to live with the moose. But PJ could not make good moose calls. I don't know if I could make a good moose call either. Could you? It sounds like the moose makes a sound mook. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig or a moose. I want to be a... Possum. And PJ went to live with the possums. The possums liked to hang upside down, but hanging upside down gave PJ a headache. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig or a moose or a possum. I want to be a skunk. And PJ went to live with the skunks. See, they have some of the same things. They both have a pink nose and they both have white. But they're also very different too. They have small ears and he has big ears. But they want to be his friend. Did it not take PJ very long to find out that he did not like living with the skunks? So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig or a moose or a possum or most of all, a skunk. What I really want to be is a what do you think? Bunny! So PJ hurried home. The funny bunnies were very happy to see him. PJ was very happy to see them too. That night, PJ ate all of his cooked carrots and played with every one of his brothers and sisters. So he was so happy to be a bunny again that he did not care that his ears were very big. At least everyone can see that I am a bunny, PJ said. And not a, what do you think? <laughs> bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig or a moose or a possum or a skunk. The end. Did you like that story? I thought it was a pretty funny story. Now, I would like you to go make a bunny of your own. You can make it any way you would like to do. You can draw a bunny. You can make a bunny with um, craft paper. Uh, you could paint a bunny. Anything that you want to do to make a bunny. I like to see all your different looking bunnies. All right. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.